We like all of our guests here in the Bud Grant Show to go home with some very nice gifts, and they receive a skill cordless drill, courtesy of the folks from Skill and the fine people at Eklund Clothing Company in Minneapolis. They get a very nice sport coat and Bud Grant's wardrobe, courtesy of Eklund. And Bud, you're no uh, stranger to Eklund Clothing. They've been around for a while. Well, they sure have, and I uh, started going there when I was in college, and it's nice to drop in and see those people once It was only yesterday. Only yesterday. Only yesterday. Jim, uh, we talked about the field and the footing. Next week at uh, New Orleans, you'll be playing in a place that, that uh, none of the Vikings have played yet, and that's in the Superdome. But uh, you're not all that hot uh, about artificial turf, though, are you? Oh, I don't like it very much, and that's putting it very mildly. Uh, I think uh, some of the injuries that uh, some of the players have been uh, receiving on the artificial turf, uh, I don't think would be sustained you know, on a grass field. And uh, I think it kind of hurts the players. But I know, uh, and I, I hate to keep bringing this up again, but it, it, it exists, the word durability. Here's example one right here. Uh, there's no question about it. Jim is an amazing person, and uh, maybe he can tell us how he does this. Uh, play every, can every, you tell every week. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> you know? It's a secret. <laughs> I know, a you, better, you. you better put in a bottle. And... Uh, let's, no. let's go back to your beginning days of football. Where, where did it all begin for you? Well, it started out in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Um, uh, I started uh, with Ralph Webster, uh, who was my coach there. He took me through um, about three years of high school football. And from there, I went to Ohio State, of course, with uh, uh, the illustrious Woody Hayes. And um, then up to Canada to um, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. That's the first time I had seen Jim up there playing. He had a tackle eligible play then. Yeah. They threw him the ball. Hans Marshall, huh? Oh, Good. yeah, I was great too. <clears throat> Caught him and took him all in for touchdowns. What did you? What position three. did you play uh, back in your high school days? Uh, I played fullback, and uh, then I one day um, I think our tackle got hurt, and coach walked in and looked at me and thought that I was big enough to to play on the line, so they they moved me uh, up to the line. I didn't like it very much in the beginning, and. We had to play both ways at the time. And of course, I like defense much better than offense. And uh, so I kind of concentrated my efforts since I was going to be a lineman, you know, uh, onto the defensive part of uh, football. And uh, I think I developed as a much better defensive player than I was an offensive player. I know uh, I probably wouldn't be in the league very long now as an offensive player playing the way that I played back then. Uh, terrible. You know, the. Uh I think Jim's record is going to stand for a long time, the consecutive games that he's played in, because uh, with the artificial fields, I think it shortens a player's career to a certain mm -hmm. extent. Uh, they sustain more leg problem, and uh, uh, anybody who's played football has leg problems of some nature. I mean, whatever, I'm, I'm sure Jim has anybody who's played mm -hmm. for any length of time, and the artificial fields are just tough on the legs, aren't they? They're very tough on yeah. them. Uh, I have some problems with my feet, too. Uh, uh, kind of, you kind of get a lot of burning. I guess the turf, it, it really sticks your feet there, and it causes your foot to slide a lot more on the inside, and it uh, creates a few problems there too. Of course, I know uh, when when the when the stuff first came out, Lou Brock, an outfielder on the Cardinals, of course, this is on hot summer days, has to put asbestos in his shoes. Mm -hmm. It's that hot now. Of course, when you play on hot days, you have to worry yeah. about that too. Oh yeah, the heat yeah. is tremendous. Uh, it's it's right. far hotter than uh, than it is. Uh, uh, in the stands or any place, I think, because you get a concentration of all the heat yeah. there and the sun coming down on that field and it just holds it right in there. So that's, I don't think anybody approached Jim's record, which is how many games? Two? Uh, two, I don't know. Two it's, it's, two it's, it's around there, and yeah. I should you know, I should have looked that up uh, before we went on tonight, but it is, and it's I like I remember the 213. Yeah. <laughs> Back during the beginning. And he hasn't signed, showed any signs of slowing down. No, that's... No. Why, though? Can anybody answer why? No, he won't tell us. I got a big machine in the basement, <laughs> see, and I go down. <laughs> every, the time my body, machine, huh? every time my body gets bad, I go down there and it just renews it. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not one given to, to phony compliments, and I, I really mean this. I really think you did a heck of a job on that American Express commercial. You know, when I first saw it, and I thought, oh, Jim Marshall, you know, and I mm -hmm. looked at it, and I, I've seen it now about five or six times. Tell us about that. Uh, where, where did you do it? And oh, we... Um, went to New York uh, originally and um, uh, talked to the people in New York and uh, uh, they liked me and uh, then we were going to Miami to uh, to do the commercial and I had my wife with me and 
they kind of got a look at her and got a feel for her and thought it would be a, a great idea to, to work both of us in a commercial like that. And, uh, and then, of course, she's kind of my inspiration and uh, uh, she's, she's, a, she's, a, she's a good leader. <laughs> well, and, so, uh, as a result of that, aren't you in some other things, commercials now? Or? Well, yeah, you know, the, you, 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 you kind of get some more yeah. and uh, so I'll probably be doing some more work. Well, Alex Karras did a little takeoff on, on athletes doing commercials. He said, look, this is the razor we know, but mm -hmm. I, I tell you, you, I look for a guy to, to be natural when he does a commercial, and I, you were very natural, and I hope it opens up a lot of doors. Yeah, he might get into Geritol or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what does it. He uses <laughs> Geritol. What's this bit about uh, you might go into hang gliding? <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't mention something like that in front of him. Uh, you know, I've been parachuting for, for quite some time now, and uh, uh, the, the gentleman that introduced me to parachuting uh, here in Minnesota uh, has a company now that builds hang gliders. And uh, he started um, last year, and I guess they manufactured a hang glider for me. Uh, they had it, they fixed it so it could be taken down and you could travel with it on the airplanes and things like that because they are, you know, large, I think 20 feet. Yeah. So they had it uh, cut down to, to 10 feet so you could put it together. And um, I was supposed to pick it up. His, his company's in, um, uh, I don't know, somewhere up around Boston. And I was supposed to pick it up when we played the Patriots up there. And uh, I didn't get to get it, so I guess it will probably be uh, the... When you retire, Spring. Jim, <laughs> when you get it, will you just be safe with it, doggone thing? <laughs> hey, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. Bud, uh, very quickly, New Orleans. Well, we're going to play in the Superdome. New experience for us, but we're looking for number nine. All right, and we'll be back next Monday night to talk about that game with the New Orleans Saints and hopefully victory number nine. This has been the Bud Grant Show with Minnesota Vikings head coach Bud Grant and Channel 5 sports director Tom Riley. The Bud Grant Show was pre-recorded. <laughs>